Hi, my name is Ada Wells from ProBalance Physical Therapy in Alameda, California. I am a physical therapist and certified Pilates instructor, and what I want to do is show you some of my favorite um, toys to play with, and uh, these are called Say Arcs, and they come in several different um, shapes and, um, and options with the AccuBac here. And I just wanted to show you a few of my favorite things to do with them. Um, I think these are a really uh, great tool. They're made in the U.S. They're wooden. Um, the, uh, the smaller arcs here, this one that has a little bit more pronounced um, arc, has a weight capacity of 500 pounds. Um, these, these more gentle arcs have a weight capacity of 1,000 pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few exercises that are kind of more for what they were intended as sort of a, a way to be able to get a little bit of mobilization to the spine, but I also want to show you some exercises that are a little more Pilates inspired and um, just something else that you can do to work with more of the strategic movement and um, once you do get the range of motion. Okay, so I'll show you those in a moment. Okay, so what we're going to start with are just some gentle mobilization techniques that we can do using these arcs. Um, as you notice, this is the posture, um, the posture device, the back flex posture device is what this is called. Uh, this is the AccuBac, and this is the lumbar stretcher. So what I'm going to show you initially, we're going to do, I'm going to put the, um, the Posture Flex device just aside for a moment. And what we're going to do is focus on what we can do just to mobilize our back using um, these two items. So with the AccuBac, you have the nice option of either um, leaving the little knobs in or um, taking them out. Um, if somebody is new to this, I would advise taking the knobs out, but for somebody who's talked about trying to mobilize their spine with a golf ball, here we go. So, um, you can, if you notice that the arc is a little different, um, this is obviously a little more gentle slope. Um, this is much, much more steep, but we can remove this little wooden piece and it does change uh, the dynamics just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is show you, um, I'll show you what we do with, I'll, I'll use the AccuBac. I find that this is one of the most um, just really flexible pieces of equipment just because we do have the option with the knobs. So I'm going to go ahead and take the knobs out just for now. So this will give you an idea um, what you can do. And like I said, this can easily be done with the knobs in. And what I typically do is I will start with having you on your back. And then just go ahead and lift up and place the arc just under the low back where it feels comfortable. Um, there's, there's no... Um, the only wrong place would be is if you put it underneath your back and you feel discomfort, so we don't want to have that. So basically, just have them to the side, have your arms to the side, kind of in a goalpost position. You can have your knees bent initially, so this would be kind of a, a warmer for somebody who's never been on this before. And I simply have them relax in this position for about a minute, and then after that minute, they might do a few gentle little pelvic tilts, rolling up and down, keeping the knees in alignment and just experiencing the arc there. Once again, this can be done with the, um, the knobs in. After they've done that for a minute or two, you can go ahead and lift up. See if you can scooch the AccuBac a little further up. And once again, you can bring those arms to a goalpost position. Now, if the person has been able to tolerate this well, you can go ahead and straighten your knees. And if that feels okay, feel free to bring the arms up overhead. Okay, so we just want to have the back in, in a relaxed position. And once again, we're just relaxing here for about a minute or so. Now, one of the things that I like to do, once again, going to the knees bent um, and, the knees, and the arms back in the goalpost, I mentioned we could do some, some bridging where we just roll up and roll down. But we can also come in here and take advantage of having um, a towel. So this is a red Fletcher towel. This can be done with any towel. Um, usually holding it about twice the width of the shoulder and giving a little pull from what I say are the armpit muscles um, of your body. So giving that little pull, keeping the shoulders out of the ears, we're just gonna we're just gonna bring the arms overhead. And we can bring them back down. So once again, this can be done with the knees bent, or we can do this with the knees straight. And at this point in time, it's it's not uh, very much stretch. Now, I have a little bit more flexible back, and I'm also on the, the least flexible arc. So if I were perhaps lying with the knobs in, it would be much more significant of what I'd be feeling. If I were lying um, using one of the lumbar stretchers that had the, the more significant arc, um, this would be more noticeable. So once I've got it as far as I can get it underneath me, which it almost was there, you can actually bring it so that it, it comes up a little higher, 
kind of more to the, the, the upper middle back here. Now with this, you might find that the person may, I'm, I'm tall so I'm able to rest my head down here, but you might need to pad the head with a pillow. I don't want to see a neck hanging like this, so make sure the neck is supported appropriately. Once again, we're going to put the arms to the side, just allowing that stretch to occur about a minute or so. The legs, once again, can be down if, if you desire that. So either position is fine. And once again, the arms could also be up overhead, okay? So once you've laid there for a few minutes, then what you can do is go ahead, once again, take our towel, twice the width of our shoulders, and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pull back and forth. And thinking about staying open through the collarbones and along the back of the neck. Okay, we can even do some little overhead presses, watching that to keep the shoulders out of the ears just do, once again, you might do four or five of those in each direction. Um, from here, we'll go ahead, I'm going to peel up just a little bit. I'm going to scoot it up a little bit further. So now, this arc is coming up towards, it's where the apex is, almost right at the base of my neck. My ponytail luckily acts as a bit of padding, but once again, you might need to use a towel at this point underneath your head. Same thing. Arms are to my side, they can be in a goal pose, they can be out like a T, they can be up like a Y, legs can be down and we're just relaxing in this position, okay? Then once again, we're going to take our towel, do our overhead work, do that four to five times, go overhead four to five times, and then just to add a little something extra here, you can go ahead and interlace your fingers and just a, just a cradle the back of your head. Feel like your head is heavy into your arms. Take a breath in as you exhale, just allowing the sternum to slide down and then inhale as you come back. Exhale, coming down. And inhale back up. So what we're doing is we're just, we're not doing this so much at this point in time to um, work the abdominals, although you are. It's just more to get a little bit of extra mobilization on the top. And once again, this is much more dramatic when you have um, the balls underneath you. Okay, and once you've done that, you can just roll right on off. It oftentimes feels nice just to take a moment kind of retest, see what everything feels like, and from here you can carefully come on up. And you can either go ahead and go back to your day, or you can do some of the other exercises I'm going to show you in a moment um, using the posture flex. Okay?